Tuesday, I eventually process everything with a sleepless night. I still need to get used to this mindset of trying to be better and just being a nice person in general. I, I honestly don't care about grammar anymore. I tried to apologize to Rowley today, but he avoided me. I can't blame him. I figured the best I could do is leave him alone. An apology wouldn't have been enough anyway. What up, Fregly? The rest of the day was pretty depressing. I barely paid attention during any of my classes, not to mention I kept getting bullied. Not physically, but people were making fun of me indirectly, which kind of hurt worse. I guess you could say I didn't carry a very good legacy from middle school, being a narcissist and all. When I got home after school, I spent the rest of the day laying in my bed. The whole rally thing is it getting bullied and the high school workload was just too much for me to handle. And dad wasn't much help neither. Just suck it up, bitch. I skipped dinner and half an hour later I heard mom whispering to someone outside my door. She said something along the lines of, Leave him alone and give him space. But a few minutes later Roderick came in. I groaned as he walked in. I just knew he was here to bug me and make f make my day a thousand times worse. But he just stood there, not saying anything. We sat there in silence for what seemed like ages. I asked him what the heck he wanted. And he finally spoke. But what Roderick and said was something I never would have expected in a million years. You have to keep your head on your feet. No, your toes on your hands. He stuttered like that for what seemed like an eternity. Eventually, he gave up and told me to just get in the car. I thought he was going to take me to the gas station or something, but he took me to the last place I wanted to be, Westmore Middle School. Before I could say anything, he started talking. You know, Greg, you've done a lot of crap. But that's in the past. You don't go here anymore. Things are going to be different. I don't know what to say. I had no idea how he knew this stuff, but I decided not to question it. That's when he drove me down to the street to Cross Sand High School, leaving Westmore Middle School behind. You go here now. It's hard here, and crying like a baby will only make it harder. You have to try to be better. I think you can do it, Greg. I asked him how I could possibly make things easier. He suggested that I try to make new friends and start fresh. That won't be easy, but I guess I should try. Again. After that, Roderick ended up taking me to the gas station for Slurpees. So I decided to let loose and have some fun before digging deep into his words. On the drive home, I asked him why he did all of this. He said something about how mom and dad wouldn't be any help, so he felt like he had to do it. I wasn't sure how Roderick could be more help than mom with this kind of situation, but I believed him. Roderick told me that he would kill me if I told anyone about this. When we got out of the car, he started evenings evening things out with a few punches and nuggies, which honestly kind of relieved me. Wednesday. I chose to take Roderick's advice and try to make some friends. And I figured the best way to do that would be to join a club. No, not wrestling or school play. A club that's more laid back. So I decided to go with an after school club called The Cave. It was basically just daycare for teens, but I didn't care. On the drive home today, I saw Rowley walking home with Fregley. What up, Fregley? I tried my best to ignore them. Rowley moved on from me, so I need to move on from him. He doesn't need me hovering over his shoulder. Thursday. I walked into the classroom where the cave was held. There were a lot more kids there than I expected. There was a big group of bang kids called Smash Bros. What the? Uh, <clears throat> shameless plug. On a TV. 
and a bunch of theater kids running around yelling sacrifices must be made or something. This is not good. I wanted to play with the band kids, but they were going at it a little too aggressively for my taste. So I just sat in the corner. Everyone completely ignored me. I just watched them mess around until I figured I wouldn't be coming back tomorrow. I needed a way to mate my kind of people, not these clowns on steroids. I think I have an idea. I gotta say, my idea was pretty good. Since the cave thing didn't work out, I decided to start my own club. If I centered it around an interest I had, other people with that interest will join, and I'll make friends with people who I actually have stuff in common with. But I'll get into that a little more for later. Something came up that I should probably write about it. Dad left today. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be laughing, but that 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 that, 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 that was just so hilarious. That one line. Roderick said he wanted to drop out of school to become a full-time drummer. He, mom, and dad got into a huge fight. My mom was trying to convince Roderick to stay in a nice way, but dad was being really aggressive, so mom had to defend Roderick. Manny and I were hiding in the room, but we heard everything. Then dad got in the car and sped off. Mom managed to convince Roderick to stay in school, but I knew dad wouldn't be coming back. <laughs> Honestly, oh sorry, Friday. Honestly, things have been a little less stressful for me without dad's high expectations. But mom is taking it really hard. I don't know how Roderick feels about it since he just keeps in the basement and stays quiet on the drives to and from school. Things around the house have been really bleak. Mom is trying to get a job, so I'm relieved she's finishing her major. La f relieved she finished her major last year. Jesus Christ, I hate the English language, but I have to speak it. I think I'll go through with my club plan next week to get my mind off of all of this, but I need, still need to figure out where to start.